Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Adachi and we are back with Mod Squad Rin. Now you guys know her by now. We've talked about her in a couple of other matches already. You've seen it. She's in the Z23. I'm in the Udachi. And this match is only going to be shown because of the teaching moment that is a lesson in futility. There are some matches that you're going to get into that you just simply cannot win. And this is going to be one of those. So sorry to spoil the ending for you guys. But that doesn't mean that you give up. And that you just don't try. And uh, we're going to have ourselves a crazy game. Including some very unlikely, unlikely uh, challenges that we overcome. It's going to be a good one, guys. I promise. This is going to be an exciting Udachi replay. I know a lot of y'all probably think, what do you mean exciting replay for a Udachi? I promise. It's going to be a good one, folks. You're going to want to watch this all the way to the end. Because it's ridiculous. Uh, but we're going to initially start to push towards Alpha because I want to get a destroyer over there. Ren and I are going to split up because I don't like, if we do both run destroyers, I don't like to run together. And the reason for that being, you screw your team over, usually. So Ren is going to uh, hang tight here at the Bravo cap. I was going to go over to Alpha. But then when I realize who is where and that there's nobody in Bravo, I'm just going to swing straight in and grab Bravo right off the bat. If we can get that completely uncontested, like we can hold Bravo for the rest of the game and that could potentially win this game for us. So that's my thought process here. You can see I switched to the A cap. You can see there's a destroyer in A, there's a destroyer over at Charlie, and there's nobody getting into the Bravo cap right now. Now there is somebody close by, or at least somebody in the neighborhood that our twisted track is locking onto. So we're going to go ahead and swing into the Bravo cap and try to grab this base immediately. Rin is doing uh, her thing, trying to support the backside of uh, Charlie as well. I think she may have spawned in late or something here. But that was our goal. We're going to get in here. We're going to grab this, this cap. You can see I see the black. Now, we know that the black is a radar destroyer. So we don't want to challenge a black on even footing, right? It would not go well for us. So you can see I'm trying to anticipate maybe where he's going to think about going. I'm using uh, the twist and track right now, or perceptive, to try to get a shot. And then we see the York. So I'm like, oh, we'll just throw this one at the York. Worst case scenario, I use my reload booster, I can drop torps on the black. Now the black kills our Fiji right off the bat. And this is something that is just unacceptable. You cannot have a cruiser get torpedoed this early in the match by a destroyer who was spotted and you know he's there. You've got sonar, there's no reason for your cruiser to get torpedoed to death. Now unfortunately, York changes his mind. I don't know if somebody shot him or what, but the York changes his mind, decides to go forward, so we're going to miss all those torpedoes. We are, however, going to grab this base. And you can see Ren has joined us in this cap. And then I'm going to go from here over to the Alpha cap to see if we can help that side. Now our, our guys that are over there, our battleships that are over there, at least do a pretty solid job of uh, winning that side. Which is more than I can say for that Fiji. So we are going to try to help them. Now we know there are two destroyers over there, so we gotta be careful. One of them is a radar destroyer that could easily kill us. And the other one I think is a freaking, I, I forget what it is. And we know the Lo Yang is on the left. That was the other thing, Lo Yang and a black versus our Yudachi, go figure, right? Like anything that can perfectly counter us does. Now, I said I was gonna go over towards Alpha and then I was like, okay, well, we can't really do that. Those battleships should be able to handle that over there, hopefully. I'm going to try to move over here where the majority of the enemy team is moving. We've already lost the destroyer on this side. So if we can try to impact the game and and grab Charlie while we're at it. We can, we can do more for the team over here because of the amount of people that are coming this direction. So our goal at this point is to interrupt the push by the enemy team the majority of them are coming this way if we can interrupt that and catch them off guard they know their destroyers already did they have no idea where we are and they have no idea that we are coming to intercept them so if we can pull this off we still have our reload booster too so we can get a lot of torpedoes in the water to really change the the outlook of this match that was the goal in this this first attack here is to just catch these guys off guard 
drop all of my torpedoes using the booster on multiple targets here to try and get these guys out of their rhythm and potentially sink them preferably but you can see we drop one set on the leone we go ahead use that reload booster so we get our uh, torps back and then we have this richelieu sitting here just absolutely begging for it so we go ahead and drop both sets of torpedoes on this richelieu now this is the part that's really unfortunate and this is just a miscommunication by myself and Ren. Ren gets a little bit too close and gets spotted and then starts opening fire on the target that I picked to shoot torpedoes at. Now that is the sole reason this Richelieu does not get uh, death struck right here. This Richelieu would never have known those torpedoes were coming. He would have took every single one of them. Now we get two hits and two floods on the Leon. And then these torpedoes reach out and grab a hold of the Richelieu. And look, we dart near depth struck him even with that. Now, if, if Rin hadn't fired, I'm fairly confident that would have been a depth strike. But it is what it is. We can't help that. Uh, it's just a little bit of a miscommunication. Just goes to show that, you know, sometimes divisions aren't on the same page. Now, she spokes up. She's going to be trying to get some... Uh, damage uh, off of probably the own I would imagine she knows that he has taken a, uh, a flood so any sort of fires on this guy at this point could be huge uh, same thing for the Richelieu but uh, our team has completely folded uh, we have yet to kill a single enemy ship in this lobby uh, not without trying I'm, I'm trying but there's only so much one person can do here now, you can see I'm trying to size up different targets to see who would be our best bet here. Leon and, and Nelson seem to be coming back towards me, so I'm going to go ahead and drop Torps on these guys. And you can see I drop them in there. Uh, Lo Yang has me spotted, and winning a gunfight with a Lo Yang is almost impossible in a Udachi. Almost impossible. He had already taken some serious damage going in. He's got... Oh, ouch. We took a hit from the Le, uh, Leon there as well. But we're, we're dropping torpedoes into that Nelson and Leon, hoping to take those guys down. And we managed to run aground because we had to drop. And uh, Z-23, she manages to take out, or Rin take, takes out the key. First and second kills of the game for our team. You gotta love that. We managed to hit the Nelson with two torpedoes, but but it lives. And now I know that we're about to be sonared by this Lo Yang. Like, it, I know it's coming. So you can see I'm already getting my guns on target and we are actually getting, uh, we're spotting the battleship. Unfortunately, Rin goes down and this is a 708 point like defeat at this point. Like there's nothing I can do here other than just try. Now we are radared by the black, which is not preferable. There's a Nelson there. There's a, Le there's a Leon. There's a York out here taking shots at me. This black is, is radaring me, but we get outside of his radar range and we drop spot. Well, it's about this point that the, the freaking Lo Yang comes back in. And now we are basically at the exact same hit points in terms of this, this fight. Now, obviously we got Nelson here, so we're going to try to get some torps on him again. See if we can't finish him off. We've got 113,000 damage now. So we, we've done our share, but we're still going to keep fighting. There's, there's no reason to give up. You never know what could happen. Now here we're sonared, but we're going directly at the guy. He fires his guns. That makes this a, an even fight. Now he gets the first shot. We get a very good hit on him. And then I jam on the brakes to try to make him miss here uh, because I know I'm low health. We weren't able to finish him off here. So it's, it's all coming down to this. He hits me one more good time. There's the brake check. We hit the brakes, he flies on by, we get the kill, and we dodge the shot from the York. We have no hit points left. We have 170 hit points. Can we survive another hit? Probably not, but we do actually manage to dodge all of those. We managed to hit the Nelson and cause a flood. Unfortunately, it was after his damage con had come back. He does take another shot at us. We've got 172 hit points in a dream at this point, and we have managed to completely disappear. So, the game is almost over. It's 870 points. They've got all three caps. There's nothing more I can do here. I've done everything in my power to try to carry this team. 135,000 damage. Um, you can see I look back over my shoulder. I've got the, the York there. I'm going to go ahead and take a, uh, a pot shot with torpedoes over there on him with one rack. And then I'm also going to go ahead and try to uh, send some torps out in the direction of the, uh, the black. 
because I know the black is over here. I know he's the closest. And you can see I'm sizing up the battleships, but I'm just going to go ahead and drop these, these torps in the water right about where I think somebody's heading. I know the black is coming towards me. He would be crazy not to. He comes around the corner. He's spotted. We're going to go ahead and engage. He's right on the edge of our, our range. We take the shot. We slow down. And he kills us. <laughs> I know you guys were expecting, you know, more out of it. But honestly, this is just what I what I say is unwinnable. Sometimes you just get in a match where it's just you don't get any help from the team. And our team was about as bad as it could be in that one. Ren ended up giving the, getting a dev strike. Only three people scored a kill on our team. And I ended up with 1,600 base XP, which is double what Ren had as the second player on our team. That's crazy. But 138,000 damage we tried, guys. But sometimes the matches are just unwinnable. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Have a great weekend, folks.